Marshall is back. Well, you know, at the end of every show, I'm always like, stay tuned for more interesting cuisine from around the world. Well, today we're in Mexico. Chef Fernando, what do you think? Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> It's almost like we're in Mexico, right? It's the same. Okay. It's the same. Almost is the same. Almost is the same. But you know how they always say almost doesn't count? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, we're at the Crossroads Restaurant here in a hotel in Victoria Island, Lagos. And Chef Fernando here is going to be showing us an authentic Mexican dish. And of course, later on, my friend, beautiful actress and presenter Dolapo Oni is going to be joining me. But first, let's get cooking. So today, what are we cooking? We are uh, cooking a Mexican dish uh, named uh, Pescado La Veracruzana. Okay. In this case, we are using salmon, so okay. it's going to be Salmon a La Veracruzana. Okay, so today we're cooking Salmon a La Veracruzana. That's correct. Uh, for this Love Mexican dish, dish uh, we have a piece of uh, fresh uh, salmon. Okay. Yes, uh, fresh tomatoes. We have uh, red onions. We have garlic. Garlic. We have uh, rosemary and thyme. We have uh, capers. We have olives, we have bay leaves, we have uh, oregano, we have uh, black pepper, white pepper, and a little bit of salt. I want to go back to this pepper. You said this is a special pepper from Mexico. Uh, yes, this uh, pepper is original from my country. Okay. It's a jalapeno pepper. In this case, I'm using uh, pico jalapenos. Okay, so how do you, how do you, do you like have to fly it into Nigeria? Because do we, can you find this pepper in the Nigerian market? Uh, it's difficult, yes, you can find. Okay. Uh, there, there is some uh, grocery store that you can find okay. uh, jalapeno peppers. A jalapeno pepper, okay. Es especially here in uh, Victoria Island, you, you okay. will find it. Okay, okay, cool. So every ingredient here is readily available for yes. all. That means viewers at home like, can quickly pick up on it. Okay, so let's get to this. What's the first thing first? Uh, first thing, uh, we're going to need a little bit of uh, olive oil. Olive oil, yes. okay. So we're going to start first the salsa, yeah. So Did you just say salsa? Yes. As in the dance? No, salsa <laughs> as, a, uh, as a sauce. As a sauce, okay. Yes. We're going to start your uh, olive oil. Okay. Yes, uh, and then uh, we're going to uh, start throwing the ingredients. Huh? This one is required to use uh, plenty of tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna add uh, your uh, bell peppers. Okay. So you, you, you can add your uh, garlic at this point. Little garlic. Add uh, your rosemary and thyme, yeah. Okay. You, you can add uh, bay leaves. Bay leaves. So you can add uh, your oregano. Okay. You can add uh, capers. Okay, what do you call this again? Capers. Capers, okay. You can uh, add olives. Add okay. Yeah. Mm. Your sauce, uh, you, you need to prepare your fish. For your fish, uh, you need to add a little bit of uh, olive oil. Yeah. And uh, we're going to add uh, some uh, seasoning. Uh, you can add uh, a little bit of. Uh, Black pepper and a little bit of salt. Uh, after you finish, uh, we need to put this uh, fish on the oven. You know, you need to heat your oven 180 degrees. Okay. And about uh, 10 minutes is gonna be ready. 10 minutes, okay. Yeah. really nice so um this salmon a la vera cruzana what's the side what's the perfect side for it you can have it with uh, rice you, you can use rice you can use uh refried beans you can use uh, mashed potatoes mashed potatoes okay. so guys here is our authentic mexican cuisine called salmon a la 
Vera Kusana. And this was pretty easy. It took like barely 10 minutes to put all of this together. So this is something you should definitely try at home. Thank you, Chef Fernando, for showing us this beautiful and amazing dish. And I'm sure it's going to taste as good as it looks, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Uh. And joining me to have this perfect and wonderful dish is beautiful actress and TV personality, Dolapo Oni. I'm going to see you soon. Darling, you doing? Good to see you. I'm good, you too. You look fabulous. Thank you. Love well. So I've been slogging out in the kitchen with Chef Fernando. Okay, so what have you been making? Because I am starving. Yeah, what I've been making is called salmon. <laughs> Wait for it. Okay. <laughs> salmon a la vera cruzana. Say what that? <laughs> a la vera cruzana. Salmon eh? a la vera cruzana. So what's the... It's a Mexican dish. Okay. There's salmon and then there's this vegetable... There's cruzana. The... Yeah, there's cruzana. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is cruzana? There's salmon and there's cruzana. Well. But Tolapo, it's good to see you. Ooh. You look beautiful. Ooh. So this is what oh. getting married is all about. Oh, like, this is how they look when they get married. Why do everyone keep saying that? Well, put my how I'm looking to being married well it's part of it it's part of it it's part yeah. of it yes well I guess so you so how's it been how's it been what's been happening since you got married well you know I have my own show now called the Marcy yeah project. the Marcy project yes, I so. actually like that show I'm still gonna ask you stuff about the show later, but okay, then. Okay, yeah, so I'm actually in the process of choosing season two. Oh, you're done with season one already? Season one is done. It's oh, been wow. repeated at the moment. Okay. But, you know, have to shoot season two so that it can air at the beginning of next year. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's the Salmon a la Vera Cusana. Like, I love the name of this meal. It looks amazing. Wow, Ooh. thank you. Can't you see? Sorry, I always tripped up on my words because I'm salivating <laughs> so much. I, I am tempted to start, but I shall wait till you get your plate. Yeah, you should wait. You should wait. Can you yeah. see how gorgeous the food looks? So, so did you actually help the chef make yes, it? Yes, I helped Are your you friend. Sure? Did you just watch? <laughs> I was actually kidding. watching. I was watching. I was gonna say, what? <laughs> I was watching Chef Fernando put everything together. Oh, and it was pretty delicious. fast. It was just like 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Well, 10 minutes. Oh, I, I, I like, I love olives. I can see olives in here. Yeah, and this food, I can't wait to taste. So I think we should get to it. Actually, very nice. This is really good. I was totally worth the time. It's really nice. And because I'm on a diet, it's even better. Yeah, the fish. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the like, what have you been cooking for your husband? <laughs> <laughs> he loves Amala. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. He loves Amala and F4. F4 Euro? Yeah. So, so you know how to... I know how to make it. Make Amala. It's been a while. Okay. You know, so I allow the cook to handle that, but I love to oversee what the okay, cook does. Okay, okay, cool. Which is great. But no, yeah, I... But every once in a while, you... Yes, you know, it's nice to put my own personal touch there. Hmm. Let's start from the very beginning. It's a very good place, place to start. start. How okay, what's up? did it propose to oh, you? Oh, Lord. It was actually in a restaurant. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. The long and short of the story is, because the story is very long, Okay. is that I was filming. Mm -hmm. I was on set in Naja. Okay. And the restaurant was in VI. And basically, um, my business manager called to say I had a meeting with a potential sponsor at like 4 p.m. Okay. I thought I'd be done shooting at 2 because I had one scene. 8 o'clock is when I finished. And they kept calling, calling, you need to come. And I was like, look, and I was wearing tracks with bottoms, t-shirts, I looked really bad. I was like, look, let me just let's postpone the meeting. Yeah. Anyway, I finally got there at 10 o'clock. Traffic was really bad. Okay. And he was me actually meant to be in Abuja at the time. So I get there and I'm like, where's the, to my business partner, where's the guy we're meeting? He's like, oh, he's in the bathroom. So I'm sitting there and I'm uh -huh. in a really bad mood. I'm hungry, I'm sweaty. Just sitting down, music becomes very loud. I'm just thinking, you know, this is Lagos, anything can happen. Music gets very loud and then, um, People just start dancing, and there's like six dancers just dancing in the middle of the restaurant. Okay, but and in my head, what time of the day is this? This is 10 p.m. at night. Okay. So in my head, I'm like, 
like how we were in Lagos <laughs> okay. all the time. So I just continue with my drink, talking okay. to the guy. And then he now walks in, my boyfriend at the time walks in. And the first thing I noticed was that he was wearing this very crisp white shirt. And I remember thinking, not even what are you doing in Lagos? I just remember thinking, what are you what are, why are you looking so sharp? <laughs> She gets it, walks in, and I'm sitting on this at the table, and he kneels down, and I still don't get what's going on. I still don't get it. He kneels down, and I'm like, what are you doing? It's like, I couldn't see. He literally, I just saw his mouth moving, like, will you ma and I was like, what, what, are you like, what are you doing? I was like, is this a joke? And he says, look up, and on the balcony, all my friends are watching. They've been waiting there since, and I always said I'd never cry, and I cried, like, oh, so yes, it was very sweet. A lot of thought so was put into it, yeah. Oh, very, very nice. I love love stories. <laughs> Well, you've just started acting now. Yeah. So do you think you're going to have, like, um, limited roles to take? I don't know, because I guess, you know, we have our own sort of thing in our own relationship, and it's always been like that, whether before we were even married. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be that different of a crossover. And I've been acting for quite a while. It's just that I just don't take up many roles. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, and I have a movie coming out, actually. Shameless plug. I Yay! Movie coming out in November. It's got Diary of a Lagos Girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen the behind the scenes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and a lot of people don't know that. I actually went to drama school before okay. I, and I was working in London as an actress before I moved Oh, back really? Tonight. Yes, okay. I, but I did mainly theatre. Oh. So that's why, if you see, my roles in Nigeria, have, I've done quite a lot of theatre compared to TV and films. Yeah, so. Saro. Exactly. Yeah. Um, for Coloured Girls. So, yeah, we'll see. Another thing I like about the Massey Project mm -hmm. is the fact that you do, like, really daring stuff. Yeah. So what's, like, the most daring thing you've done on the show so far? The bus conductor. Yeah, I saw that. that. One. What was I saying? Yeah, no bad job. Yeah, yeah no bad job. Man, where's man? You know what I saw that? I was like, what is the I was doing? I was like, what am I doing? I was like, what? From the bus. People, people. But the thing, I was dressed, I looked like a little boy when I was I dressed in that little yeah. cap. And people were looking at me like, is this girl, like, what's this girl doing? You know, boss contest, because he had to show me what to do. And it was so, on, on the day of the shoot. It's not like you had it pre planned no, so or anything. A lot of the projects, we literally, like the street walking one. I haven't walking. seen that one. Okay, well, which you were hawking? Yeah, I was like, gala, 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 gala. No <laughs> way. So I saw a lot of plantain no chips. No way. Plantain chips are the easiest to grow. <laughs> so for anyone out there who wants to do it, you've like, gone AY. Plantain, this is like... plantain <laughs> chips is the way to go. Okay, don't be trying to sell chairs in public. <laughs> the chair. I'm not from that chair for anything. I'll tell you that. This is not enough for to know. Like, what has happened to you? No, there's, there's, there's some posh ones, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> in there somewhere but yeah i do a beyonce dance i do basically it's just very random so you know you can tell me now oh i want you to try whatever it's just taking me out of my comfort zone that's that's really nice i know a lot of people like when they hear the lap warning i was like she's this very premium proper stiff stiff lip. <laughs> you know well like the worst thing you've heard about yourself that's not really the worst, but people tell me that I'm intimidating, which I find really weird. weird. They say that I don't, they don't look like I'm approachable, mm. which I think, but you don't really know me, mm. but I don't, and I don't understand how I come across like that. But I guess I've seen pictures of myself that have been taken in public, like in a crowd, and this is how mm. I look. Oh. So I guess with that kind of face, who would want to come and talk to me, right? Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, um, no, what have I heard that, you know, I mean, I've been called a midget, which wasn't very nice, but someone like set up an account to abuse me, which I thought was interesting. Call me, yeah, this call me, I sound like a robot. Uh -uh. <laughs> that was funny. Cause I just thought, I didn't even understand what a robot sounds like, but yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you just, people don't, so, but when you read all those things, like especially the Stephen, for instance, mm. do you like make a conscious no, I didn't effort? Read it. They, they put ads, Marcy Dorakodi. Oh, on Instagram, ads, right? Yeah. So I was just like, okay. So, but do you not make like any conscious effort to say, okay, I think ah, now that they tell me I'm stiff, no, maybe I should be stiff. smiling more. Uh, nope, I'll continue to look like this <laughs> in the crowd. If you don't like it, pack your face. <laughs> <laughs> Cleared your plate. I want to be a lady and leave some. Yeah. I just think it's a bit bad to just clear everything. But so. Anyways, thank you so much, Black. It was such so a joy much, having you on this special. Thank you for coming. It's my pleasure. And thank you guys for joining us. And special thanks to the Crossroads Restaurant at Eco Hotel in Victoria Island, Lagos. Guys, don't worry. Next episode, I'll be here again to bring you more and more interesting cuisine from around the world. And don't forget, this is today's special. Keep smiling and stay healthy.